is the All the Love Bundle. It comes with the stamp set and dies. And this is the latest edition in their All The collection. Previously, they've released All the Hellos, All the Birthdays, All the Marys, All the Thanks, and now we have All the Love. I love this graphic set and the way that they put their words and their fonts together. This is actually one of my favorite collections for Concord 9th. And this All the Love just might be my very favorite to date. So let me show you a little bit about it. You have the solid uh, for the insides and the lining for the outside. The L and the V line up against the O and the E in case you want to offset them and do different colors. They have all about the love and then they have coordinating dies that aren't necessarily ones that go right with this one, but they coordinate with it. So it's like two for the price of one. So let me show you what these look like when you cut them out. In addition to the stamp set, you also have these large graphic loves. And this is the LO and the VE, and they cut out in two different spots. So you can line them up like this, or you can line them um, horizontally if you want to say love all the way across. You have a solid heart, an inner and an outer heart, the love you and another really cute script. And then you have the X's and the O's and the hearts that kind of that create confetti for shaker cards or you can just add them to your card itself. So let me show you a couple of samples that I made using the All the Love bundle. Let's set these aside. This one I did just pretty straightforward. I chose the Oceanside, the Stardust, the Poppy, and the Sea Glass. And I just stamped them solid with my Misty and then went right over them with black to do the outline. It lines up beautifully. I put the U right across the front, added a couple of little hearts, and that's my first finished sample. Second, I just chose to use every single piece in that stamp set and I made kind of a collage or a subway art kind of thing. I used them all, just chose the same color palette that I was using and the only thing I did add was one of the little hearts that you die cut and I put it right over top of the O for just a little bit of pop. Next up is the love, I used the love you out of the stamp set and again with the hearts. And then I used the new turnabout background stamp, which is called Scattered Hearts. Now this one, I say I love all the turnabouts, but honestly, I think this one is really going to be my favorite. And I'll tell you why, because it's a very simple, it's a very easy to line up and you can have as few or as many hearts as you want. So before I finish this card, let me show you when you do the turnabout stamp, if you stamp it once, you just get a hearts that just look like this. And it's so well spread out and evenly spaced that it's just a cute background. Then you can stamp it twice three times or four times, and you turn it and you rotate it each time you stamp it. And there are videos on the turnabout on the Concord 9th back um, YouTube channel if you need more help on doing the turnabouts. But this particular one right here, this one is actually turned four times, but just with two colors. So it's one and three and two and four and it's just so beautifully spaced. I really, really like the way this turned out. So then when I got to do my projects, I went ahead and picked up the four colors that I was using in this palette and I did all four colors and I cut it down a little bit, put a piece of poppy behind it and just let the heart stand for itself. And then my final card in this one is a shaker card using the love that I cut out from the die and then some of the confetti a couple of sequins, the big hearts, the little hearts, and then all the little pieces that were in it. This one's kind of a faux shaker. It's not really a, a true shaker card because it's not set up on foam dots. So I call it a faker, as in a fake shaker, because it's just a cell bag behind there is all it is. And it's just enough to make them move and wiggle. So that's kind of a fun idea. So this one is the All the Love Bundle. And this is the stamps and the dies.